Weed Wacken, Weed Wacken. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. The sweetest one in town. Okay. That's Maybell saying happy Monday, July the 10th. July the 10th. Happy Monday, July the 10th, everyone. Today, okay. It's, I should have given her a treat before I did this. Today, I am going shopping. So I'm not going to be vlogging much today. But don't worry, because you know me. My vlogs are long enough throughout the week. There you go, Maybell. Bye. But I'm going... Uh, my plans have actually changed. I was going to go one place, and then they're not open until Thursday. So... Um, my goal today is to get as many videos filmed as I can. So there's at least three places. One of them is huge. So it is 7.30 in the morning. It's about an hour and a half or so drive for me to, well, about an hour and 15 minutes or so of a drive for me to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and get going. I don't think they open up until... Nine, but I think there might be a thrift store that opens up at eight. Well, I need to check. I need, Before I leave, I need to check and see what time these places open. I listed a bunch of stuff yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I thought I was going to help Mark paint, but he still needed to power wash the house. So I went to the shop and I got some eBay listings up. So that's good. Oh, an update on Mark's mower. Sorry, I'm blinding you. The mower, it's good. It's like an $800 fix. Thank God. Because we thought we were going to have to get a new mower. So $800 fix. For Mark's mower. He should get it back the middle of the week and then he will be a happy, happy man because grass waits for no one. In case no one's ever told you, it waits for no one. Although he's push mowed the front yard and the backyard, but we have like a back field and it's pretty tall. It's not easy for him to watch. But anyway, okay, well, I'm gonna get going, see what time I need to leave and do a little bit of filming today. I might pop in this evening, but maybe I won't because I might forget. I do that sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Oh, and before I leave, I wanted to say I have stuck to my drinking water. I have one caffeinated beverage, either coffee or my pop, um, in the morning, and the rest of the day has all been water using my water H bottle. And I actually, I have my, I have, I'm drinking a soda this morning. I have that. And then I have this filled and I'm even taking a couple water bottles and putting it in a cooler in my car. That's I'm committed. I, I weighed myself. I'm not going to share with you my weight. No, not going to do that. I share a lot, but I'm not going to share that, but I'm just going to monitor it once a week. So Mondays are the days that I'm going to weigh myself just to see if it's making any difference. I'm not necessarily doing it to lose weight. I mean, that's obviously a benefit. I'm really more doing it just to kind of feel better. I have been sleeping better. I don't feel as sluggish. So those are the things that I'm that I'm looking for at helping. So um, just wanted to throw that out there, but I'm really liking this bottle. So I, people have commented, well, it's so small. But you know what? That helps me feel like I'm... It's, it's definitely a tangible, visual thing for me. I, I'm seeing how many times I'm filling it up. That kind of, it's like a mental thing for me. So I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm going to, I'm going to try really, really hard, but so far it's working pretty, it's working out pretty well. I, I'm really, really happy and excited that I'm making this change. What does it say? It takes seven days to form a habit. It's almost been, oh, it's all, it, tomorrow it'll have been seven days. No. Wednesday, it'd be seven days. Seven days on Wednesday. But I'm feeling pretty good. Hello, friends, and happy Tuesday. And you know what that means. Starbucks Tuesday. The Starbucks is going to be my only caffeinated beverage of the day. That's right. Because I'm being a good girl and I'm drinking my water. I have my water H bottle in behind me, filled up, ready to go. I've been doing really, really good. I've been meeting my goals every single day. So that makes me happy. And, you know, but I have to get the day started with some sort of caffeine or 
murders may happen, honestly. So we're gonna head to Starbucks, we're gonna get the coffee. I stayed up a little late last night editing a video that's gonna go up on Wednesday, but I need to edit another video. I have a meeting today at 11, a live sale today at one, a live sale today at five. Then I'm gonna come home and have Amy's enchilada. Oh, my mother's calling me now, hang on. Okay, my mother called to wish me happy anniversary, which reminds me, today, is July 11th. I didn't say that, did I? Today is July 11th and it's my 25th wedding anniversary, which is like your, your silver anniversary. Does that mean we're officially old? Ah, we got married in 1998. We have been together since, uh, 19, no, yeah, 19, 91 I think I think 1991 pretty sure 1991 we met when we were 16 we met cruising in the car we went to separate high schools but then I my mom lived I lived with my dad my mom but my mom lived with it in Mark's high school district so I reported my address as living with my mother so I went to his high school. So we graduated from the same high school. We went to separate colleges. It's been, a, it, it doesn't seem like it's been 25 years, but in some aspects it does. When I think that we've got, you know, we have two beautiful children who are now adults. Jaden will be 21 next week. Emma will be 24. Good Lord, I am old. Sometimes it just dawns on you. I know some of you are watching, you're like, girl, you're still young. But you know, when you reach certain milestones in your life, it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a big deal. We're not doing anything, it's Tuesday. Our anniversary is on Tuesday, but we're gonna go on a small little trip um, in a couple weeks down to a place that I have always wanted to go. This was Mark's idea to do this too, by the way. We're gonna go visit a cabin on a hill in Butcher Holler. Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. Ah, I'm so excited. This was his idea. And she, you know, I'm not gonna, I want you to see if you can tell me in the com in, in the comments who that is, that musical reference. Okay, I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna go get my, this is me without any caffeine. And since I've been drinking my water, I'm, I'm sleeping so much better. So I, I feel so much better. I'm gonna get my coffee. I'm going to get to the shop. I have several eBay orders that I will share with you. And I have to get ready to pack up. So we've got a busy day, let's get to it. Well, I am back at the shop. I have my coffee, which is a iced white chocolate latte. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. But I wanted to show you my little haul from Riverside from last week. So let me show you that now. Okay, well, I got this big, this big apothecary jar uh, with a spire on it, I love. It was filled with these matches. Now, the matches aren't, aren't great. There, there's, now, if you are from like the North Carolina and Virginia area, there are some vintage matches in there from, from, from there. I might try to sort them out through state, maybe put a listing up on eBay, but I wanted the jar to put all my blind bag toys in. That would be great. So I'm gonna take that home and wash it and put my toys in it. Um, I did get these dolls. This one right here is a Sun Rubber from 1956. She's a little squeaker baby. And then her sister here, I think she's also, Sun rubber. Pardon me, miss. We're looking up your dress. Oh, this is a uh, a toodle dee, a toodle dee doll. She's a she's not a sun rubber. No, she's not. Calm down, calm down. So I got those. Um, I got this book. This is Whitey and Blondie's Adventure. Oh, it's so cute. Whitey and Blondie were two friendly adventurous kittens who wanted to visit different places of the forest. And it talks all about their adventure with that angry look. Well, I would be angry too. That little mouse is pulling on its ear. So I thought that was cute. Pin up is amazing. It is complete. It is from 1956. Thompson is the illustrator 
for the pinups. But my goodness, wooga, awooga. That was great. I love to find those. Look at the Montgomery Ward catalog, the spirit of 76. So Montgomery Ward's catalog with from 1976. Wow. Wow, the fashion. Oh, look at you. That's cool. This little book is Bedtime Stories for Convalescents, which means if you're in the hospital. This is Rust, Car Rust Craft, Boston, USA. But it's so cute. It tells all things that you can do. Look, from Nene and Charles. These are Czechoslovakia. They are marked Czechoslovakia on the bottom. Little, um, uh, like little place settings. So the bottom is glass. And they've got these little flowers on them. I thought those were kind of neat. Um, these little salt and pepper shakers, they're made in Japan. I buy these every time I can. They're always a, a good sale. This I thought was really cool. The owl ashtray. I thought it'd be great for a Halloween display. A little American bisque kitten. She does have a little... It, I thought it was a boober, but it's glazed over. So that was done in the manufacturing process. But I thought she was cute. I thought she would be cute for, like, knitting needles. Let's put your knitting needles. P.Y. I've had my eye on him for a little while, and I just decided to go ahead and buy him. P.Y. Anthropomorphic Pear Cup and Saucer. The little kitty bank I thought was adorable. Very, very cute. These, I just, I mean, I love advertisements, but this is Flame Floats. A thousand hours of candlelight. They're floating candles. Look at this. So you put them, I don't know how exactly they work. They're these itty bitty little baby candles. They were a dollar for all of them. I just thought they were just different. And then I got a couple of tea towels. They've got little bears on them. We've got bake day and iron day. I don't blame you. That bear doesn't look very happy about that. And then there's this. This is a child's bedspread. Let me get it all. Let me get it all spread out. The best place I could show you was the floor. Look at this. And it has the little pillowcase. Adorable little pink kittens on there. I just thought that that was just so, so sweet. So yesterday I went shopping and filming all day and I got a lot of stuff in these bags. So I need to unload the, and these, suit, look at those suitcases. Mm -hmm. There's stuff inside the suitcases too, but I need to unload all of those, get those on the shelves. This is just filled with other bags, bags upon bags upon bags of stuff. So to get out and go shopping, I needed content. And I honestly, I mean, I don't need stuff, but in my mind I did. Um, and I got some really good stuff. So those videos will be coming out very soon. And so right now I need to um, get this stuff on the table put away. And I have a meeting at 11. So I need to like kind of regroup and look over my notes for my meeting, which is the new thing that Michael and I are doing. We're fine tuning it. So um, I can't, not going to say a lot more than that. That's Tuesday so far. I did go to the post office and I picked up a few more things of friend mail. If I don't get it to it today, I'll definitely get them open tomorrow. Okay, I've stuck my hair up. It's hot today. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the eBay sales that I had overnight. Some of them are not going to be fun to ship. But, I mean, we got to do it. So let me pull them. I did bring in, well, these sold. <laughs> Remember I was like, in my one of my shop-alongs, I debated on buying them. And I don't know, I'm just going to go ahead and take them down here. Uh, they sold, well, you can see on the screen, I think 160 I took a best offer. But I paid $38 for them. I, I hate shipping glasses. They just take not hard to ship. It just takes a long time to wrap them. So I got to do that. But I also sold you. He is so cute. Um, he's Simba. Oh, Simba, you are so big. You're breaking everything else in your path. Um, he's so cute. He does work. It's a for real pet. He would have had like a little branch with a grub worm on it. I don't have that. A lot of the other listings didn't have it. I got him from the bins 
a long time ago, probably three years ago. He's been sitting up there. I have his lizard friend up there. I have to put batteries in him and test him. I'll probably take the batteries out. Oh, Simba. Of him, because I don't want to ship him in batter with batteries. Okay, so we got this little... I just thought these were cool. Harrison... I mean, there's not a big resale value, but I think I bought the whole stack of them for a dollar. Um, so I had two more. Um, the Harrison Hotel downtown. Free parking. Hmm. Times have changed downtown Chicago. So that sold. And then a couple of these Transformers. I just listed these. I have several more that I need to get listed. But this little car transformer guy sold as well as this little goat it is missing one of the propellers so don't discount if you find these vintage transformer items and they even have like little missing pieces they are still hold value because sometimes people will want them for parts so just just know that you can still try getting them listed a lot of them you're not going to make a ton of money but a lot of times we'll buy these in a big lot. And so there's tons of them together. We found at a flea market at our garage sale. And um, so when you piece them out, you can, you know, have a return on your investment. So I'm going to get these shipped and then I have to get ready for my meeting. Well, hello and happy Wednesday, the 12th of July. I've been a bad, bad girl because I haven't vlogged all day. It's already almost five o'clock. But I got all my shipping done today. Today was shipping day and I had a lot to do. I did over 70 items and I got it all done. I've been done for about a couple hours, but I wanted to get here early and get it done. And I did. But I wanted to show you too because I opened this up and I it, I don't know what happened. I opened it up for my, it was supposed to be my vlog last week and it didn't make it. But Natalie, Natalie. Natalie sent me some beautiful things for my birthday, and I wanted to show them to you. Look at this. Natalie sent me. This is this. This is amazing. This is the Liberace collection. This is the catalog from his estate when he died. Okay? When he died. So all of these items were his possessions that were auctioned off in 88. So, sold to benefit the Liberace Foundation of the Performing Creative Arts, the Los Angeles Convention Center. Um, this happened in Los Angeles, California. There were five, four, four, four sessions in April of 1988. And you could preview the exhibition, but it's Butterfield and Butterfield. But, you know, and then they have like, oh my gosh, could you imagine, could you imagine buying one of his pianos? So, this Mason and Hamlin player they estimate it going for two thousand to three thousand dollars. Look, look at his natural white mink coat, five to eight thousand dollars. But like as an antique and vintage dealer, this is just fascinating, D Mink. So I, Natalie, this is a treat. I've, I've been there with you, Liberace. That was his um in Las Vegas. Also, that video, I was so happy with that video. And it's, I mean, it's on my second channel. I will link my trip to Liberace's, my private tour of his mansion. I'll link it in the description of this video if you want to go over and watch that. I love being there. Which reminds me, I wanted to tell you too, I am one of the speakers at the Boss Reseller Remix. I'm really, really excited um, so to be participating, to be able to speak at this event. If you are a reseller, if you're selling on eBay, if you're selling on Poshmark, Mercari, other platforms, whatnot, make if you can get to the reseller remix, there's going to be so many other resellers there. It's going to be an amazing event. I cannot wait to go. It's going to be my first time coming to the event as well. I will link... Um, the, re the Boss Re Seller Remix down in the description. You will have an opportunity as well to buy virtual ticket. I can give you a link that will save you $10 off of your virtual ticket. So if you want to attend, you'll get to attend all of the, all of the days for the reseller remix. And so you can save $10 using the link that I, that's in the description. So, and you can watch it from your comfort of your own home. But if you're able to get to Vegas, I would love to see you there. But all that um, I'll be talking a little bit more about that um, in the next couple vlogs, but um, the, everything that you'll need to know is in the description of the video. Also, Natalie also sent me this. I got, I got the sidetracked. This is Cupy. Look at this. This is a Cupy tray. Look at 
all the cupies. Natalie, this was a treat. I'm going to take both of these home with me tonight, get that displayed, and I'm going to sit and look through the Liberace collection catalog. That's amazing. Where did you find that, Natalie? Oh, I can't wait to just dive into it. Today's vlog was very, very short um, because I was busy shipping all day today. I'm, I'm also editing for my second channel, The Misty Show, right now. Tomorrow, um, I got to come in here and do some work. Um, I'm going to get things prepped. I would really like to have a ephemera sale on what I, I already have it scheduled. I need to get the catalog ready for that. I'm kind of thinking at some point doing a pop-up sale over on whatnot. Some tiny treasures because I have them all kind of laying there. I could just pop up a sale real quick. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. But also tomorrow tomorrow when I come in, I'm going to open up friend of mail. I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow too. But um, And then I do, I got to go get some more drop-ins because I'm still drinking my water bottle. I am. I'm still drinking it. And if you, if you, if you haven't noticed already, I do have a link. Water H has agreed to do... A giveaway a water bottle so follow if you're following me on instagram you'll have all the details how you can win your own water h water bottle i'm doing so good i'm so proud of me drinking my water again i weighed myself monday i'm not gonna weigh myself again until next monday but i'm not doing it to lose weight necessarily that's just an added benefit. I'm really doing it just to feel better. I feel better. I'm sleeping better. My joints are not hurting me as much. So who would have thought? And I know that a lot of you are like, oh my God, Missy, you're just drinking water. But if you know me well enough to know, I'm like a compulsive soda pop drinker. Like that's all I drink, but not now. I, I'm, I'm doing really, really good. So I'm, it's a big deal for me. And if it's a big deal for me, I can make a big deal out of it. I'm going to finish getting this video edited and that I might pop in a little bit of the evening because I haven't, I don't think I've showed Mayball or Mr. Fluffer Pants at all in this vlog and we have to do that. So I just wanted to pop in for today and I might see you later and I might, oh, and I definitely will see you tomorrow. I'm also going to go to Riverside tomorrow. That's going to happen tomorrow as well. Well, Mark got his mower back, so all is well in the world again because the yard waits for no one. Now he's out there weed whacking. Look at this little baby. She wants to go have ball time? Okay, let's go. Gotta unlock the door. I know. Ball time. Ball time. So this is what she does. I think I've showed this in my vlog before. We got the ball. She's waiting for the ball. You ready? Go get it. Now watch. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't she doesn't fetch it. She wants you to throw it. But uh oh look at all the balls. Which one? Let's throw this one. This one. You can easily get that one in your mouth. Okay, go get it. Now. Go get it. Now those footballs she likes. The footballs she does go, she does fetch, but the I mean she can get this in her mouth. You can get this in your mouth. No, she's not even. Look, <laughs> you can get that in your mouth. Go get it. No, but look, I'll throw the footballs. She likes those. No, maybe not. Yeah, you're a weird dog. You're a weird, weird dog. I was telling you in my vlog last week that we were working on painting the house so these are this is the color scheme we're gonna paint the eaves like this gray color the shutters are gonna be the black and then the trim in white but we have to figure out what color we want to paint the garage right now the garage door is white and I don't like it so we're gonna we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do as far as that goes but that's essentially that is essentially the look that we're going for color scheme wise i mean we don't live in a barn our house doesn't look like a barn but color scheme wise that's what we're wanting to do oh the hummingbirds are going crazy do you get hummingbirds at your house we have tons of them but we have feeders everywhere especially out front i'm gonna go out front and see if i can um get them on video weed whacking and scaring all of the hummingbirds away but i've seen them 
There's our feed. Oh, it's in the weed whack again. <laughs> weed whacking, weed whacking. Chasing all the hummingbirds away. All the hummingbirds are like, we wanna, we wanna eat from the food. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Oh. Okay. Oh no, he's got the blower. No, he's got the blower, hummingbird. <laughs> Okay, he's put the he's put the blower away, hummies. Oh gosh. Okay. Come on, hummies. Show up for your feeder whip. That oh my gosh. There's one. I'm sorry, hummingbirds. He's gonna he's gonna blow the whole driveway now. I'm gonna get a little bit well, I think if I hide. I think if I hide behind this here plant. See? It's, I'm zoomed in, but I'm going to hide behind my wandering June. And maybe we'll get... Oh my gosh. Okay, enough of the blower. <sighs> Hummingbirds! Hummingbirds! They're zooming all around. I'm just waiting on them to land. They've got a feeder there. There's also a feeder right there. And we also have a feeder right there. So there's three feeders out in the front. And I think we've got three or four in the back. Oh my God, now he's in the street. He's blowing the street. I mean, okay. Hummingbirds, focus. Hummingbirds. I'm trying to zoom in, but I can't. They're fast little suckers. Hi, Mr. Hummingbird. You got you got a nice red little throat there, you do. Drink up your nectar. Good morning and happy July 13th. And I uh, maybe I'm trying to make my bed. Can I make my bed, ma'am? That be possible? It's supposed to storm and be nasty weather today. And I have some errands I need to run. So I'm hoping that I can get through all my... I know. Get through all my errands before the rain sets in. Maybe I'll... it's bed making time. Hi, Fluffy. He just kind of sits there. I don't know what he's waiting on. I know what she's waiting on. But he's just like... Whatever, just watches. Just watches. All right, I am at the shop and I have two eBay sales overnight. I've not been good with listing on eBay this week. I did some over the weekend, but two things that sold. One of them is a toy. It is like a spider looking transformer. Spider transformer. You, you, you're a bug transformer guy. And then a, this guy, this Royal Dalton, oh, Royal Dalton, man. I got this for 99 cents at Goodwill. I did take a best offer, but I got him for 99 cents. So that's, that's a good deal. Take a gander, guys. All of these things are listed on eBay. Those guys, those vintage pennants makeup so take a look at my ebay store i will will link it down in the description well honestly it's always down in the description to find me on ebay it's always in the description of my videos which brings me to another point i wanted to say if you don't look in the description box we've kind of talked about this before but sometimes i have to feel like i have to you know say it again and give reminders because people forget in the description area people's videos so if you're watching on your tv you're not going to be able to see it but if you go on your computer or on your phone you can look into the description box and um well let me show you so here's my video i'm watching it blah blah, blah on my computer and then if i scroll down you can see this little gray box there see right there where it says show right there show more 
You just click on that show more. <gasps> and that's where all the links are. So I've got links to the glasses I wear, my eBay store, my second channel, um, Timu links, whatnot links, my, my merch website, email, follow me on whatnot, American Bubble Boy, that's now selling shipping tape, the best bubble wrap. So you, there's discount codes for you to save all by pushing that little more section. So you can get all kinds of information and ways not only on my channel, but on every other content creator's channel that might have links that have affiliate links. And you're going to be able to find things that you can get discounts on. So check that out. If you're on your computer, just go to that little gray box and it says more, click on that. And that's where all of the links, cause I do get a lot and, and it's okay for you to, to send me a message wanting to know a link for this or that. I'm okay with that. You can send me an email and I'll, I'll get you the link, but you can easily just find it by clicking it on there. Sometimes I forget to put certain links on. So if I do forget that, then definitely email me. And sometimes when you email me, it gives me a reminder. Oh, I didn't put that link in crap. So it does help. All right, I'm going to get these two little boxes shipped. I got to put those in my car. We got to go to the post office. I'm going to try to get there before it storms. I'm wanting to run into Dollar Tree too and maybe Big Lots because people have told me that there are all kinds of water drop-ins. So I, I need to get some more because I'm, I like the Sonic and I just ordered a bunch more on Amazon, but the Sonic Cherry Limeade is my favorite and the Kool-Aid Zero Sugar Fruit Punch. Those are my two favorites, but I'm wanting to try like some different flavors every once in a while. And don't forget, take a gander on Instagram here very soon. If it's not up there yet, it's gonna be on there soon. I'm gonna be giving away a water H bottle. Hi, I got friend mail to open. So we're gonna open up friend mail. I got, I think five, five things here to open. This one, first one is from Freeman from Washington, Washington State. Hopefully there's a, oh, oh my word, there's no, Freeman, Freeman from Washington, there's no card. Look at how, there's no card. Look at the little pixie scrapbooks. That little, he's given that guy a haircut. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of shenanigans. Oh my gosh, look at that one. What's he taken? Is he taking a knife? Shh. Oh wait, maybe he's pulling the cord. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in here. That is adorable. Look at the back of it. Freeman, thank you. I want to think that I should know your name. Are you Michelle? Is that your name? But that is very sweet. I'll add that to, I'll add that to the gang, the gang. This is smooshy. This is from Nan. Nan. I bet there's a picture of little Zacky baby. Look, he's so pretty with the little organs. I'm gonna save that, you know I am. Oh my gosh, pen worthy notebook. This is like, how bizarre. Guys, were you all talking with one another? Oh my gosh, there's stuff written in it. Well, I don't know what's written in here, but it's from 19, well, it says November 22nd. I don't know if there's a year in here. Oh, I love that those are still in there. It says daughter L. Miller, Robert L. Agnell, Wallace. I don't know what these numbers are for, but they've got like these numbers here and then a name. But that is a cool little pen worthy notebook. It was 10 cents in the day. Okay, here is a letter from Nan. I'm going to read it and then I'll share it with you. I'll paraphrase. So Nan is so sweet. She was saying that whenever she's out and she looks, I'm always looking for things with glasses. Um, and so she sent this little, on her card or on her letter, a little bunny with glasses. I could cut that out, but then I have to cut your letter and I don't want to do that, Nan. Um, but um, she just says that how much she enjoys Michael and our sales together and how, you know, well we are together and we stay focused and stay on the sale. And so I... That's something that we are really proud of too. This is so sweet. Nan's always going on an adventure. If you if you see Nan in the sales, we're going on an adventure with Nan. I sent her some books for baby Zachy, and um, and she said that that was, that she loved opening up that box. And so, Nan, thank you.
Nan, are you outside? It sounds like someone's on a ladder. Nan, are you on a ladder? I don't know what's going on out there, but look. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's so cute, Nan. I see baby Zachy. I can't show him to you, but look, here we got. Where the wild things are. Maurice Sendek. A little card there. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Nan. Oh, he's so cute. I gotta update it on my little on my little stand of Zacky. Oh, and she sent these postcards in here too. These like vintage ladies. The Queen of Flowers. Nan, that was so sweet. And I love this little notebook too. These are great to have like an ephemera area. People can nose through and look at, at all your weird things. Thank you so much, Nan. All right. Oh, well, I got a big box here from Friend Mail. <laughs> no, it's Friend Mail from Virginia. Virginia Hughes, and she lives in Massachusetts. Oh, oh it's books. Misty, I love everything about you. Thank you, Virginia. Your vlogs, The Misty Show your sale shows, your shop shows, your personality, everything. We would be besties if we lived closer. Oh, Virginia, that's so sweet. Besties. <gasps> okay, I've said before, I'm, I'm sorry if you're bouncing around. I had a Red Bull. I'm a little overexcited, but I'm listening to a podcast about Laura Ingold, Ingalls Wilder. It's on Audible. It's on like wherever you listen podcast, but it's called Wilder. And there are several different episodes. It's very, very fascinating. I'm now listening to the audiobook called Prairie Fires. Um, and it is all about, you know, Laura Ingalls Wilder. And I'm wanting to find the boxed set, but look at this first book that's in there. That's why I got really excited. It's weird how things just appear in the universe sometimes. My first little house book, my little house song book. There's Pa. Let me tell you. Pa, he was, he had, he had issues. You just, you just trust me. You like, anyway, I don't want to get into it. You're going to have to listen, do the, either read the book or listen to the book. Three blind mice, three blind Buffalo guys, won't you come out tonight? Oh, Susanna, sing a song of sixpence, pop full, I don't know. Bean porridge hot. Bean porridge hot? I thought it was peas porridge hot. Anyway, home sweet home. I just immediately thought, sweet home Alabama. That's where my mind went. Okay, so that is great from Virginia. And then we have the ox cart man. Do you guys remember these Caldecott Award little seals when you would go to the library they would do um you know like a little display of those caldecott oh oh i love this virginia says that this is in rough shape but she saved it from a curbside free bin that's good oh it's all about horses eastern and western i would have saved it too throwing books away the nerve of people so we've got a little golden book. This is the Saggy Baggy Elephant. This one's a vintage. Oh, wait, no, we got the barcode right here. Sometimes you got to look on the front. In the older ones, you can look on the seam. You can see what edition it is. I honestly don't know if they still do that for the more modern ones. The original copyright was 1947. This particular one is from 1974. So we've got the Saggy Baggy Elephant. The Brave Little Steam Shovel. Do you guys remember Are You My Mother when he went to the snort? That was one of my favorite books. Are You My Mother, Dr. Seuss? Do You Want to Be My Friend? Eric Carl. Love Eric Carl and all of his illustrations. These are so good. Okay, well, there's more than books in here. Misty, I bought these from Jeffrey. Little baby Jeff, Jeff, he's a big boy living in Florida. And he brings us all joy. Oh, look, a sticker. Jeffrey actually, Jeffrey actually sent me one of his stickers. But I'm getting a new laptop, and I've been saving my new stickers to... Oh, look, more tape from Jeff. Jeff, if you like this tape, then Jeffrey sells it on realniftyvintage.com. Look at the swung bases and stuff. Thank you, Virginia. That was sweet, because that's definitely things that I can that I can use. So the next two things in here... It says, 
Also in the free curbside bin. But this is John Steinbeck, The Red Pony, with illustrations published by the Viking Press. And then she said, this was from a free box that someone left curbside after a yard sale. I know someone would enjoy it. It does have an, a little musty smell. That doesn't bother me. <gasps> this, look at Alice in Wonderland through the, and through the looking glass. 1965. Oh, that is so cool. I can't believe that these were free. That, those are so neat, Virginia. Thank you so very much. I love that. I, I especially, I especially love the little house on the prairie. That was so sweet. Thank you so very much. All right. Next, we have a box here from Ma Miss Mary Jane Martin. She, li she lives in Indiana. Oh, wow. Look what's in here, Miss Mary Jane. Oh, there is a card. Oh, it's a vintage card, too. Look at that. Oh, for your anniversary. Oh, how sweet. Oh, and it's never been filled out, and she was she had the fortitude to write a little note on the inside. Al Jolson. First, talkie. All right. Mad Sue. Mad Sue. Look how pretty that is. The little flower, little tissue paper flower. Oh, how sweet. Aw. Oh, look. It's a 25th anniversary, your 25th anniversary. When you look back over the years, so many, many memories fill the mind. The hopes and joys, the tears and sorrows, laughter and song, and yet woven throughout every memory is the love you shared. Oh, it's a music box. It's the anniversary waltz. I don't know that I've ever heard the anniversary waltz before, but I I have now. That's a, and so it's a, it's a little it's a little art piece with the music. We should play this on every anniversary now and dance to it. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, Mary Sue. Mary Sue. I've been calling you Mary Sue. You're not Mary Sue. You're Mary Jane. And I done made that. I'm gonna have to let that play out. Before I move on to my last box. One more box, and it is from Plush Bat Fan, Dream Big Productions. I have a feeling that this is going to be from Fairy Godmother. I mean, it's just a hunch. But I talked to Cindy, and Cindy's going to come over, and she's going she's gonna to come over and play with me. And we're going to open up some blind box bags because I just haven't had time to do it. And I thought it would be fun to do it with my best friend and we can come and play with toys. So I got to open up the retro toys and the cutie fruities. Got to open up all those things that fairy godmother had sent. What's this? What's this? What do you do? One, two. Do you have skin? Kind of looks like a squid game toy. Well, that's the first thing that, that was in there. What else is in here? There's no card. There's a lot of stamps on there too. From Arizona. They used a lot of stamps. It's supposed to be this, but that's not in there. It's just that. Here's the thing. There's a rare vintage Mattel 1969's The Lion King and an orange sound box inside this package. Oh, orange sound box. So is it a sound box for the red panda? Okay. There's also, that's the leapfrog thing. But this is the note that I got. So this says it is a 1989 Disney's The Lion King. I know my fairy godmother likes toys too, so it could be from Jean. If it's from you, Jean, thank you. Or it could be from plush bat fan Dream Big Productions, who has very nice handwriting, I I I'll have to say. Look at how nice that handwriting is. I notice these things. You know what's but funny? I wanted to point out in the mornings, I decided to have my one caffeinated beverage is a Baja Blast. 
and I have my water H bottle right here and I keep grabbing for that. <laughs> I, I keep grabbing for my water. I'm gonna get caffeine. Caffeine first, water. I know that there's water that has caffeine in it. And I know that a lot of people told me about like carbonated water. I don't like carbonated water. I've tried it before. I love soda pop. I just can't get down with the carbonated water. I don't know why. The water packets, the water drops seem to work the best for me. Um, and yes, I, you do have to, you know, you got to fill this up. Um, but it's like one, uh, where'd it go? One of these. So a 20 ounce water bottle will almost completely fit in here. So it's like drinking a 20 ounce water bottle almost. Um, so I just keep the water bottles, but when I'm at home, I use my refrigerator to, to, um, refill. And to me, that gives me a sense of satisfaction. It does. I mean, it, it's a motivating fact for me. Um, it's, it's almost like a, a, you're, you're keeping a competition with yourself and I like that. So anyway, I'm reaching for my water, but caffeine first. I got to get the caffeine in so I can do the things. We're going to do a little bit of shopping today at Big Lots. We're also going to go into Dollar Tree. I'm on the mission to find some water drop-ins for my Water H water bottle. I want to say though too, I went to Goodwill and I got a cart, a bag, I had a cart full. I got some Grogu's in there. So that video will be up soon. Look at how cool it is. They've remodeled my Goodwill and I don't know what the deal is, but this backgammon game is for me. I've always wanted to learn how to play. So hopefully Mark will play with me, but I got, I did good at Goodwill today. Okay, I'm back at the shop. I know I'm blinding you, but I'm gonna test Grogu out. I got Grogu at Goodwill. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, wait till you see. Okay, Grogu came with just a USB cord, but I got a little thing right here. Watch. Arise. It's alive. It's alive. Hello, everybody, and happy Friday, July 14th. I had an eBay sale overnight. I've been busy all day. I went to a yard sale. I got a computer chair and a few other things. Went to Riverside. Got a few things in there as well. I had a sell on eBay and it's one of my taste of home. One of my old uh, taste of home subscription min cookbooks that I don't really use, but I like all the gadgets. I really do love these cookbooks, but I just don't ever use them. That has sold, so I'm gonna get that shipped off to its new home. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because it was quite long. I will be doing a water testing on my second channel. I bought all of these waters. Cindy's going to come and we're going to test them. We're just going to do a fun video. It's going to be on my second channel. Uh, we're probably going to film it this weekend. So if you're not following me on my second channel, subscribe. Go on over and subscribe. I got that book all ready to go, but I wanted to show you the items that I'm going to be selling on Tuesday's YouTube sale. So let's turn it around. I got everything pulled for Tuesday sale and ready to go. Um, sequin fruit with the nanner. These are so bright and fun. It's all the items that I'm going to be selling is pretty kitsch. It's, it's a lot of kitsch. Um, I've got some, look at this little Barbie pool lounger some galaxy spaceman bottles some viking some mid-century modern planters some super little kitsch there some uh diamond potteries the gund squirrel 1976 um montgomery Wart's catalog these inflatable groovy hangers um, a couple of the litho tins this is adorable it's it's adorable i've never seen a complete set in its original box i just thought it was cute um, and some pinups, and then I have some more linens that I'm going to be doing for the five and nine. So, Tuesday, one o'clock Eastern is my sale with Michael, the Cult of Vintage. So make sure that you are, um, you're coming to that sale if you can. And then Tuesday at five o'clock Eastern, I am having an ephemera sale over on Whatnot. So that's what my plan is today, is to get these things cataloged and make my catalog for Whatnot some more pinup items and just lots of different ephemera. So today I'm going to sit and look through all these things and get these things ready to go up in the catalog for whatnot. But thanks guys for watching the vlog. It was a long one. It was a long, thanks for hanging in there. 
Did you have to take part two? But that's just, it is what it is. I'm a talker and I say a lot and I have a lot to say. And I like just spending time with you and blinding you apparently with my lights. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. Don't make sure that you are subscribed. Come to the sales on Tuesday and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Hi friends, just reminding you that I do have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come and subscribe. And another reminder that I do have live sales every Tuesday right here on YouTube at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern and then at 5 p.m. Eastern over on Whatnot. The link to all of my sales are in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And unless I miss my guess, the boys are me around. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a ball, hit a man, put his hair in the middle.